Hi YouTube! Welcome to our video series on the Lego Modulus. We have a special edition now because we couldn't wait to show you this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the police station according to the box, but we prefer to call it the donut shop and you'll soon find out donut why. Donut shop, yes. <laughs> so, so uh, no police. Yeah, this is the recent release. January, it's now a February, and we uh, built it quite quickly, but it took us a while to start making a video, but here we are. Uh, yeah, what about this set? Well, if you look closely, you'll really notice that we changed one thing specifically, namely the, uh, the sign. You'll find the sign later in the building, but we turned it into the gay police. <laughs> the gay police, the fashion police, the fun police. You, we have uh, nice and queer lights in our police. Yeah, exactly. We we uh we have our reasons for not being that happy that there are police now in our Lego city, uh. But by making them the gay police and making sure that things don't get too heteronormative in our Lego city, we kind of like them now. And uh, guess what? Nobody's ever been put in jail in our, <laughs> in our city so far. No, and you will also notice that the, there are no guards at the window. Not really. Oh, they can. Uh, we, we leave them a little bit open, so, yes. so if anybody's curious, they can just go in. So we made sure <laughs> it's an open space where people could go and explore, and uh, uh -huh. we'll show you more on the inside, of course. But speaking of the outside, you know, when I first saw this uh, modeler, I uh, actually wasn't sure if it would be a real one. I mean, there are a lot of fake modeler fan designs on the internet, and then when this was first shown, uh, it was it was leaked actually. And I actually didn't believe it was a real model. I didn't think it looked good enough. I, uh, I mean, uh, mostly because of this very conservative facade. It's very square. And I get why they did that, because it's a police office, right? uh, police station. But, uh, um, and I like how the, uh, the colors contrast. I understand why they chose these colors. But still, uh, um, yeah, it's a bit odd building, because in the middle, it's very square and a bit bleak. While the sides are very colorful, and they probably did that to give this set a little more personality, but the contrasts are, uh, are very stark. And we've been trying to put in a city, it's been a bit hard to find a good place for it. But it has a lot of green, and I really love this. <laughs> and I actually really love the colors, and I love how they sort of made it fit really nicely also on the back, which we'll show you. Uh -huh. We'll show you now. Well, I think the back is a little bit uh, boring, actually. Yeah, you always hate the backs <laughs> of the buildings, but I think they made it really pretty with these lines and the colors. And so this is the building from a little bit closer by. You can see that lots of stuff is going on. So one of the things that I love a lot about this building is all of the green. So the nice leaves here around the, around the sides that go all the way through the sides and down. And then you have two of these really like fluffy trees. I really, I really love those. Um, you can also see the, the the queer lights that we've put. We really love them. We we uh, we ordered them specifically to fit with this building. So it's something that we gave um, this building a little of our touch, and it's really nice. And then you can also see a couple of the minifigures. So here we have Special Agent Dale Cooper and his friend Bruce, and they are very eager to catch the donut that uh, Sander is uh, is hanging from the window from the inside. You will see the inside. If you look closely, you can see him behind the window. Yeah, you can see him a little bit, but he is, uh, he is uh, fishing for our little friends below with the donut. And then we have the coffee lady, uh, Leila, who is uh, laughing at the people having fun. And uh, she is the owner of this very pretty um, donut shop. Um, and I think it has quite some nice details, like the little donuts here, but also the facade is just really beautiful. I think it's very, very well made, and I really love it. And also the colors, this, this purple mm. pink is really like very nice color I think. Show the sign on the side. The sign on the side, the, yes. The, the laundromat. So there right? is, um, uh, well actually we should also see the, the little newspaper yeah. stand here, <laughs> uh, which is where Sunday is working usually when he's not uh, fishing donuts. And um, this is actually also adorable I think and it also gives the, the whole building a, a nice touch that there's this smaller building on the side. And then um, here on the side you see um, a, a large billboard that is actually um, from another uh, modular that we haven't reviewed yet, so Brick you'll bank. see that uh, see that later. But it's kind of a fun fun thing um, in our city that uh, they uh, yeah they want you to come to do laundry there. So that's uh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And what else? So we have this also this cute little bird here who's a bit suspicious because how is he eating mm -hmm. a donut so high up in the on the building? 
And then, um, and then we also have uh, Jackie mm -hmm. here taking a break uh, at the water cooler on the on the little on the roof. The water tower. The water the tower. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what it's called. And then um, the back, you saw already a little bit. There's not a lot going on, but I think that they, uh, what they did really well here is that it all looks really nice. I think all of these lines are nice and the colors are consistent, and I think it's a very pretty backside. Um, especially if you decorate it a little bit with some more flowers, I think. It's yeah, really like we did. Nice. And don't mention the crack. Yeah, I wanted to say maybe you noticed, but you. I you can't talk about notice. that. We can't don't talk about it, but you'll you'll see it come back. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, let's open up. Oops. And here we have. Well, let's first start with the donut shop, right? So isn't that cute? So these cute colors. It was a lot of fun putting all the sweets here. But my favorite part is this cashier retro version. And on the, on the center of the building of the lobby of the police station, the water cooler. Unfortunately, there's also a water cooler in the uh, downtown diners. I didn't find this room very, to be very special. But what's really cool is, I don't know if the camera can see this, but if you open the door, you'll see, can you see, see it? Under the stair, there is a crown hidden. Can you see the gold? <laughs> That's a reference to a television program, which is Brooklyn 99. I'll leave the rest to you. <laughs> you can look it up online. And uh, also this room has a jail. So that's where people are locked up. And what you can do is take out this door. And what you can see is that, <laughs> take that away, this bench can be pulled up and you'll see the spoon Yes, indeed, which is used, dig away, which leads to the crack. We put a cookie in there, <laughs> so the person digging has, could have a snack in between. We also put a newspaper in here because we thought, otherwise it would be just a little bit too boring to sit here. We also love the toilet, you know, it's a nice detail. So, lots... And we added some water to the toilet, because oh, yeah. none of the toilets in, the, in this uh, building had water in them, and <laughs> we added those. But it's nice, doesn't it? Sometimes we put a frog in it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are frogs everywhere. <laughs> so this stair was also kind of fun to build. Um, that's pretty much this story. I don't know if you want to see this one a little bit closer. The lovely uh, kiosk really has a Parisian attitude to it. I mean, it's so cute. And uh, that's, of course, uh, Saunders' place to work. Let's go to the next story. Let me do this right. Yeah, here we go. Now this could be moved up and down, which is quite convenient. Now, on this story, let's uh, here we see our main hero, Sonder, <laughs> as he's called him. He's playing with the do with the, the police now, but he could do more things with that rod. We'll soon get around to that. But if we turn the building around, we'll see the old-fashioned typewriter and phone, which is really nice. This part is a bit boring, but whatever. It's where pictures are taken of the criminals for the mugshots, and. Finally, we have the most interesting room, Sonder's apartment, where he has this really cool record player. I love that. And the other side, a little bit of a kitchen, yeah, so you can live here. The best part, of course, you might have seen this in the commercials, is his bed, which can open up, which is a convenient hole, which can be fished through <laughs> to get to the donut shop. So that's how he steals the donuts, unbeknownst to Layla. And then he gets to write about his crimes, or at least he, uh, the journalists get to write about his crimes in the newspaper and he gets to sell them, so that's how he keeps the news interesting. <laughs> you need to show the board with the evidence. Of course, how could I forget it's so that? so cool. This is really fun. We all recognize these from television shows, right? So the police are going mad, trying to figure out the mystery. <laughs> how is it possible? Good, one more story to go. Let's put this back on the top. For some reason, I really enjoy taking off this roof. <laughs> it's nice and square. Uh, yeah, so you have a couple of badges. Um, I like this room too, the interrogation room. So here the criminal gets intimidated and towards telling the truth. There's another bathroom. And what we have here is probably the smallest room in the whole Lego model collection. How does this work again? You can pull this off. Yeah, you can pull it from, <laughs> the, from the gray thingy. And on this side, we see some things that have been found. Now, according to people online, 
these are all references to other Lego sets. I recognize the cookies from the detective office set. And this hat, I think, is from the Brig Bank set. But the rest of the things, I'm not so sure. But uh, I'm sure they do come from sets. Now, what we did was we took the old police sign. I don't know if you can see it. But that's the blue slab here. That used to be in the front of the building. We put it here in the closet. <laughs> that's old. There is no need for this in our town. No, exactly. It says police. And uh, now it's officially retired. So that was this room. Again, one thing I like about this set is that it does have a lot of rooms. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> There's a lot to show. So now we're going to talk about the ratings. And we're doing this standing up because the cat took our seat and we don't want to disturb it. So we'll just do this standing this time. Fuck a little bit. <laughs> yeah, okay, so uh, the outside. Like I said, I wasn't uh, that impressed. I still think it's... Uh, it uh, looks a bit funny, so but I have to admit there are a lot of lovely details. I like looking at the bricks here, the plants. Uh, there's a lot to see. This is you know so gorgeous having this beautiful print here. So I'm gonna give this four out of five stars for looks on the outside. Yeah, so I don't know why you're complaining about this because I think it's really lovely. It has a lot of details. It has a lot of color. I think it's very well made. It looks gorgeous. I would give it five stars. Oh wow. Yeah. Not as beautiful as this one, right? <laughs> also, five. I mean, we only have a maximum of five, so I, we'll, I love that one too. It's we'll my get around favorite. to this one. Later. So we'll get around to it later. <laughs> as for the inside, like I said, you could, there's a lot to see, but half the rooms, I think, they're bland. They're office spaces. I um, I don't like conservative buildings. I like I like buildings that are fun. Now, there is a lot of story going on, but still, mostly it's a police building, and uh, um, so. Um, half the rooms are, are great. They don't look that fantastic though. The donut shop does have a couple of beautiful things, but compared to other modelers like Assembly Square and the detective office, you don't see that amount of lovely things uh, to adore. So I'm still giving this four out of five stars because there is a lot to see, some really nice things, but not as, uh, not as much as some of yeah, so I think for me it would also be four out of five stars, but and I, I do agree, but I think they have there are some lovely details like the the board with the with all the hints and also um, like the, the the crack and the the fact that you can sort of that there's like this tunnel and there but it's all in this theme of the police and I guess maybe I'm just not such a fan of the theme. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah, we try to make it more queer. Which I, which I love a lot, so now I, mm -hmm. I love this building. But I agree with you, four out of five stars, I think it's, uh, it's also what I would give for this. Okay. Building experience, well, this is almost 3,000 pieces, so you are busy, and a lot of small pieces too. Um, it's, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, diversity. Like you can see there's all the different, different, different buildings, there, so that's nice. But the techniques aren't that interesting. Uh, none of them uh, were actually new, so uh, even though I had a good time, building lots of little things, uh, you, could, you, you, you get your values worth. You will be busy spending building a lot, but none of it really made a large impression on me. I think this is the best part with the plants here. Um, a couple other highlights, but I'm giving this four out of five stars too. For me, I think it's the same, um, but I, I did love building this. And I think one of the things we didn't mention is also these really nice um, building things here in the front. I think they were really fun and also <laughs> You had to turn things around and you're like, what are we building? So I, I think it actually was quite quite exciting. But there are other, uh, I think, other buildings that I, I like even better. So um, I would also give it four out of five stars. Although mentioning the plants again was really fun to do that. Now, when I first saw that it was going to be a police station, I was first aware that it wouldn't be very fun. I, uh, I'm not interested in cops and robber like uh, games, which most of the other police stations in LEGO feature. These are these action-packed things with helicopters. None of that in here. And said, here we have this lovely tale of somebody fooling the police, which I think is a lot of fun. Uh, so that's probably the best part of this set, you know, having this uh, cute narrative uh, where all kinds of mischief is going on. And uh, nevertheless, I, uh, I don't think this is as fun as the detective office or the Brig Bank. I know that when I show my friends this, they think, oh, it's really cute. But those sets really make my friends exciting. So this is, a, uh, I'm also giving this four out of five. Great, but not the highest rank. Yeah, I think you said it all. I think I agree with that, actually. Yeah. We have a lot of agreements <laughs> today. So. Okay, well, this is our town. All the 16 models.
Fabulous. And we are going to show you where we put the donut shop that we have to mm. preview on today. So actually we put it right at the end. And um, that mainly has to do with the fact that this building is quite unique in how it is designed. So first of all, of course, we have the very large uh, middle part, but then the sides are relatively low, right? So you can see this building is low and this one is very low and very much to the back. So we were really thinking which building it would fit next to. Mm -hmm. And in the end, we decided to put it next to um, the, uh, the palace. What is it called? The palace cinema. The palace cinema. Um, which we haven't reviewed yet, so you will hear about that later. Because here you can see that it kind of matches with the size of, of, um, <laughs> of the roof. And um, it, it fits really nicely. And then um, here we left this open now, so it's kind of a corner building at the moment. Um, and that has two reasons. One is that this little uh, part of the building is quite far to the back. And you also want people to be able to see the billboard. So a lot of the buildings are much higher and much more to the front, so they would cover up all of this and make it like really a dark spot, which is not so nice. So we thought, for now, we'll leave it like this and have it sort of open and visible for people. Mm -hmm. um, and the one building that might fit next to this, we, we tried out a lot. <laughs> it was a lot, of, a lot of time trying out to fit the buildings next to that. The only building that might fit is the Parisian restaurant. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. So this one also has these sort of lower sides and is relatively far to the back. So if you would pull this here, you can see that it sort of would fit, but still it is um, it is sort of hiding the billboard relatively. And, yeah, you and still get these ugly lines here, you which get I'm the not lines, a big fan yeah. of. Yeah, you really don't like <laughs> the lines, yeah. And, and uh, um, yeah, so that's, that's not uh, going to work. No, and, and the other buildings, maybe the diner, we also tried the diner, which has this round corner, but even then it doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look too nice. So we yeah. decided to make this the corner building and uh, mm -hmm. the last sort of part of the town, which is still worth exploring. And um, yeah, so you'll see we have a lot of other buildings that we review on this YouTube channel mm -hmm. in the coming months, I guess. So um, we hope that you come back when we review the next one. Definitely. All 16 modelers. Finally, we have it complete. <laughs> so, see you next time. Uh, probably the Grand Emporium. So, bye-bye, yes. folks. Bye-bye.